Hi, here we are in Stade, St. Cosme, in front of the Hus Schnittger organ, built in 1675. My name is Annegret Schönbeck, and I'm pleased to give you a brief overview of the Orgel Akademie Stade. 20 years ago, the Organ Academy was founded as a center for the promotion of organ culture in the region between the rivers Elbe and Weser. I think you know about the exceptionally high number of historic organs there, not only the famous instruments by Arp Schnittke, but also fantastically restored organs from several centuries. In 2006, I started working for the Organ Academy, and from the beginning I was looking for a key or better, a complete keyboard to open our organ paradise for the young generation. First, I offered four-hour organ courses for small groups. There they learn a lot about the instruments, the organ building technique, the history, the music and so on. We climb in, we play and each group finds new aspects. Some of these former children learn to play the organ and now they are colleagues. We organize organ visits for school classes and school concerts for several hundred youngsters every year. And therefore, we often visit the children where they live, in mostly small villages with famous instruments. We prefer to select music samples that are typical and directly related to the instruments, and they love it. We invite children of all religions. They always have many questions about the Christian religion. For us, it seems necessary to talk about the position of the organ in the church. We developed illustrative material like organ models, special portatives with viewing windows. Our organ cases with a lot of components allow to touch and to discover all materials that are used in historic organ building. We publish digital and real children's books, one of them together with Guy Beauvais. Thirteen years ago, I founded a one-week workshop called Stada Jugendorgelforum. Since then, we invite about 20 young organists aged from 12 to 18. They come together to play the famous organs. They prepare suitable pieces of music at home and work with specialists in Stade. In the end, all of them play in a festive concert, which is the best visited and considered as one of the most interesting organ concerts in our region. One of my dreams will come true this summer. Four former participants are invited as lecturers, a first step to empower the next generation. Now I'm happy about the international exchange in Amsterdam and I look forward to seeing you all. Thanks a lot for the invitation. No, no, it works now, it works now. Number one. I'm number one. <laughs> Sorry. So that sounds like something that is, in fact, becoming a wonderful spiral. Um, educating kids, getting them on the organ balcony, enthusing them, uh, answering all kinds of questions, and then you have four of them that now are professional musicians. So share a bit more about that with us. Yes, um, in all the years, Many of them studied the organ or the church music and um, we are a little proud to see that, uh, that they learned in the Jugendorgel Forum that you can study this. Um, the most didn't know it before and they came every year and every year and um, it is nice to see um, how they... Uh, went forwards, how they learn and um, how they get in. You know, and, and what, what fascinates me is how you reach out. So how do you get in contact with these kids? We in Amsterdam, we have lots of basic schools, basisscholen, but also many, many, many initiatives of on all kinds of, of cultural levels that are, these schools are bombarded with, you know, and so you can think of doing something with organ. So how do you do that? How do you get these churches so full? The pictures are really amazing. Um, we invite 
the whole school and they have uh, to das heißt anmelden, um, mm -hmm. register. Uh, they have to register, yes. Um, and so we know before uh, how many will be there in the concerts uh, and they come with the whole classes. Um, not all of them are there free. Uh, some of them uh, perhaps uh, in the beginning don't want, but when they are there, it is wonderful uh, to see how they react. And I think for the children, the organ is not old fashioned or something like that. I think um, only the, the adults think, think so about the organ. The children are really open and, uh, and uh, curious about it. So another thing that Peter just addressed, talking about the situation in the Netherlands, that he wants to make Stay Tuned a really secular initiative. Is that the same in Germany? Is that, or is it more like, is the religious, uh, religious connotation stronger? Uh, it is very strong in Germany. Very yes, strong. Okay. I, I think so. Um, uh, uh, especially in northern Germany, the Lutheran church is really strong. Um, and most of those who live there uh, belong uh, in the church. But um, for me, it is important to invite all um, and, and to be open for, for them all. And uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, children that came uh, from Syrian, from Iran, from everywhere. And we invite them um, to learn to know what, what there is for a nice uh, instrument. I think Peter wants to react to that. By the look of your face. <laughs> I was only thinking of the, the news this week. Uh, that um, a few years ago there was the news that uh, the majority of the Dutch people didn't belong to the Institute Church anymore. Yeah. And last week there was in the news that the majority of the Dutch people doesn't believe anything anymore. So that's, I think, perhaps in Germany, I think it's, it's different. Uh, or, yeah. Uh, yes, I think so. Um, because the most uh, children have other connections to the church. Um, they have Taufe, Konfirmation, and so on. And um, so they live a little more uh, in the church. And I think it's for us it is important. It's more part of society in Germany, yes. like in Sweden also, also I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so these new initiatives that we talked about before the break, and, and Marion and Marcia told a bit about it, you heard the musics. Is those kinds of musics also in, in, in the perspective of these initiatives? Peter, Anna Great. Um, so we... You, you, you showed in the movie these little uh, uh, set of, of scores uh, that indeed very, very much related to the world of Arab Schnitker, which is understandable. But mm -hmm. I can imagine that these new currents would be fascinating for, for children as well. Yes, um, uh, I think so. Uh, first, we have um, the very great repertoire um, of our northern German music and, and it um, is so fascinating for the children and we want to learn to know them, uh, this repertoire. But uh, we are very open and I think we are curious. Um, uh, when we heard uh, from Marion for uh, uh, how to uh, play the pipes, um, we do this with the children. They can um, try to play with similar pipes and um, to to listen how they sound when the uh, when the sound starts and when it ends and uh, what different sounds it may be and I think um, the children are really open for for many kinds of music. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I agree. Uh, there's lots of repertoire, but we are also discussing with uh, an organization who is trying to stimulate children to compose. So we didn't start yet, so we have no uh, real appointments with them, but we are just trying to, to do this, uh, to have this link also. It's just uh, children to compose or teenagers to compose for the organ, which could be very interesting. Anyone from the audience would like to join in this discussion? Ah, at the back.
I was actually going to, that's loud, ask the exact same question as Hans in terms of broadening the material that's being played in these initiatives. Um, and it's really cool to hear that there's such an open-mindedness uh, from the inside out. And I was curious as to, um, in terms of the larger scope of things, uh, especially the organ community, isn't known for being really open-minded about contemporary uh, mm -hmm. music for the organ. And I was wondering, um, in terms of sustainability, in, in you know, the plight to keep... <laughs> the, was that me? Or was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I was just wondering what your thoughts are about uh, the from the inside of these initiatives out and longer and uh, how that works with, if that makes sense. Um, you mean with the contemporary music? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, for example, uh, one year we invited Daniel Glaus with a Winddynamische Orgel um, to the Jugendorgel Forum and uh, it was very interesting to, to have this different ways in and out um, the youth was, was a little bit shy about it, but um, uh, I think often these youth uh, who play organ, some of them are a little traditionalists, um, <laughs> uh, and, and we have uh, to do more to, to bring them to, to other uh, music. If I have a follow-up question, then, if I may. Um, so this is also really interesting, I think, in terms of the way that uh, organizations approach uh, finding new uh, organ players. Um, and I can't help but noticing that often it kind of ends up being in one vein, which is um, you know, it, inevitable considering the context and the legacy of the organ. But I was wondering to what extent you see a future for um, and you guys talked a bit about secular versus non-secular, and I feel like that is also a large part of what keeps the audience um, in a similar vein. So to what extent, I guess, uh, how, how, how would one explore new audiences or new children who, for example, were raised in a radically non-religious environment? How would you spike their interest, do you think? If, if that's an all right question. <laughs> oh, I think I can't give a quick answer. <laughs> um. Lydia vroeg in the way. Thank you. Um, you will see more in, in my video, but uh, to attract uh, young children who are not uh, acquainted to get to, to visit the church, it's very uh, important to bring them to the organ who lives there in the church. And if they don't come there, they will not meet the organ. So I think it's important that you uh, approach the organ also from other views, from the music and from cultural heritage, especially when you see an, an old church in a little village. Uh, what does that building doing? What is it doing there? Why is it standing there? What's in it? There are new questions that make them curious. And I think that's an, an other approach to the organ, but that can be successful, even for children from a Muslim uh, background or uh, other religions or non-religious. 